A Massachusetts court has ruled against Joey Kramer. Joey Kramer, the longtime drummer for Aerosmith, will not be allowed to rejoin the band to perform at the Grammys or the Music Cares tribute show. He had filed a lawsuit after being dismissed from the band, trying to force the band to take him back. The article states that the judge decided that Kramer couldn't get back into the band because he'd been out for over six months and that he, there's not enough rehearsal time for him to get ready to play and his inability to play at the appropriate level might harm the overall brand. It might harm the financial interests of band. Now what Kramer said was quote this is not about money I am being deprived of the opportunity to be recognized along with my peers for our collective lifetime contributions to the music industry. Now I think that he's absolutely right about this. He has been the drummer in Aerosmith since the early 1970s. This has nothing to do with whether or not he's able to play at a reasonable level now it has to do with what he has contributed to the band in the past now his lawsuit mentioned quote that kramer was treated inconsistently as there was no provision in the band's contract requiring a member to prove or demonstrate their ability to perform after a period of temporary disability what happened was the band made him come back and audition again. Even though he'd been in the band for decades, they required him to come in and play with a click track in order to show that he could still get the job done. And what he is saying is that, well, they're very interested in keeping the band going as an active brand and maybe his drumming is not up to par. So let's just cut him out of the picture altogether. But he has a right to participate in celebrating the band's legacy. The problem with the approach that he's taking is that he makes himself look a little bit desperate with the lawsuit. I think that what might have worked a little bit better for Joey Kramer is simply appealing to Aerosmith fans. I know that there are a lot of Aerosmith fans who greatly value his contributions to the music over the decades and who would have stood firm with him. And if you need a little bit of verification for this idea, you can think how people have responded to Phil Rudd being replaced, how people responded to Bill Ward being replaced in Black Sabbath, and how people have responded even to a drummer like Artemis Pyle who was forced out of the band Leonard Skinner. He continued to command quite a base of loyal fans, nothing compared to what Joey Kramer would have if he took to the public airwaves to air his grievances. Another reason that suing the band makes him look a little bit weak is because he's also saying, well, this isn't about money. Well, if it's not about money, then you shouldn't be taking the route of a lawsuit. You should be taking the route of an appeal to the people, as I said before. So I understand why he would sue the band and I understand why he would want to get back in the band, but I also think that if his lawsuit had been successful and the band would have been forced to bring him back in, probably wouldn't help them in the long run and it would have just led to greater conflict and eventual disillusion anyway. I think that Aerosmith is making a big mistake by throwing Joey Kramer out of the band the way that they're doing it, regardless of his abilities. And I think that his lawsuit is equally sad and disappointing. I have been an Aerosmith fan for a very, very long time. And I understand that the band has gone through many turbulent times and, have, and has even been on the verge of breaking up more than most of us would ever probably believe. But I also think that in this particular case, we're starting to see some really ugly behavior that is going to tarnish the legacy of the band either way. Just the simple fact that they're bringing up all of this interpersonal conflict, lawsuits, exclusions, and greed 
at the end of their glorious career is a reason to be sad. Now, what do I hope happens in the future? Do I hope that they're going to eventually bring Joey Kramer back into the band? No, I don't hope for that. I think that there's probably some truth to the fact that he can no longer play at the level that's necessary to keep a band going. I also think that might be true for Aerosmith as a whole. I think it might be time for Aerosmith to just consider exiting the stage. I don't think they have anything left to give in terms of new creativity. And I think that the celebration of their legacy is already turning a bit dark with this kind of conflict. So it might be better for them to just call it a day. But is that going to happen? Of course not. What's going to happen is they're going to continue to try to push for as much public recognition, popularity and attention and money as possible for one simple reason. Because when they sell their catalog, they want to get as big of a price as possible. So we're going to see a lot of bands following this format of trying to drive up wide public interest as they get cachet for their catalogs and because we're going to see tons of bands doing this you're going to hear me talking about it a lot in some cases as in the rolling stones i think that they're still making viable work they still ha sound halfway decent live and i think that there may be more to the story than them simply trying to inflate the value of their catalog because it's already super valuable the same goes with as i've been saying with bon jovi who refuses to sell off his catalog for the moment and has been putting tons of work into rehabilitating his voice and getting a band ready to go out on the road that will sound really good but it's not necessarily the case with bands like motley Crue that are patching things together and bands like the Eagles who are using tracks. And if you take a look at my videos, I've done quite a lot on this topic of whether or not aging bands should call it a day. In fact, we have some really interesting polls up right now in our community section, which I hope you'll check out by clicking the link below. For now, let me just say, I find this current situation with Aerosmith to be quite sad and quite cynical and I hope that it all gets resolved soon, but I don't think that the resolution is going to do any good for Joey Kramer, no matter what happens. And I also feel that the band is going to be taking a little bit of a hit, no matter what happens. This is what I think, but what really matters is what you think. So if you have an idea about this or any other topic connected to classic contemporary music, please drop it in the section below and remember to like and subscribe. And by the way, don't forget to click on the join button that's now available for you so that you can support the site. Click the button and join. You'll get access to members only badges, members only polls, members only videos, and other cool perks that you can see by clicking that, that button, which I hope you'll do. Thanks a lot.